Alright, welcome back everybody to Let's Face Sonic 3 and Knuckles! Welcome to Flying Battery Zone. Battery as in, like, stuff that can destroy shit, not the thing that gives things energy. This place has some wonderful music. See, I was talking about with sprites, uh, for every occasion in this game. And, yeah, I don't get that thing. Uh, in the last episode, it's still like this. Just, uh, moving across bars like that. You only see that in this one level, for example. And by the way, always keep a flame shield on yourself on this level if possible. There's lots of fire here. Those little things explode on the ground or mines. Stay away from them. My one point of advice, if you if you already have a hypersonic available, don't use it out here. When above these pits, it's really hard to control yourself as hypersonic as compared to normal sonic because your acceleration is through the roof. So it's pretty easy to fall and die and lose all of your rings, which isn't very nice because then you can't be super anymore or hyper rather. But as always, bonus stages are your friends now, except when they give you uh, water shields. Fire shields are okay though. And black gumballs are just whatever they want to be, I guess. They have options for their future. I don't remember what was I was planning to talk about here in a uh, flying battery, actually. Oh, there's something I have in mind, at least there's something interesting I can show you at one point. Come on, where's the rings? Get some rings towards the end here, please. Ah, darn it! I almost got some right there. Yeah! I was about to say, <laughs> ring uh, gumballs at the very end of that uh, bonus stage, I just give you a ton of rings. Anyways, fire shield, screw you. But, uh. Yeah. There are some. There are still giant rings here in Sonic 3 and Knuckles portion. As you uh, saw plenty of last episode. There aren't really many in uh, Flying Battery Zone at all, though. And they're pretty darn hard to find. I'll show off where they are, though. But it's very. not something that comes to you naturally. I'll say that much. By the way, these things, if you stay on top of them. Actually, Actor Springs. Stay on top of them for a second. And enemies! Die! I don't know if these mines are uh, counteracted by a flame shield or not. Oh no! Something interesting about these things. You're if you uh, jump off of them, you move, fly off to the right. If you're holding left while you jump off of it, though, you actually fly off to the left. Which allows you to do this right here. Put these things on stuff. Anyways, let's be super. Hyper and just absolutely break everything. As long as I don't get crushed or fall off the map. Getting crushed is surprisingly easy here. Because you have a couple of things like this. You never want to be below, above or below those uh, spike hemisphere things. Because they like to crush you. A lot. I mean, a lot. Hey, okay, rings. Seriously, getting crushed in this uh, in. Flying battery zone is actually a lot easier than you would think, or like, I'm sure. I don't know, maybe like a challenge. But, it's just a nuisance. I swear if Tails picked up that gumball right there. I like how they constantly accelerate as they're going upwards. But I ain't trying to pick anything up, am I? I'm just trying to, like, fuel my pride or something by just trying to get to the top of the stage. Oh. Ah, yeah. I know this is kind of an awkward time to do it, but I should have done it when I first tried this stage, just in case. Anyways. These things make what he will crush you, but those balls in particular. 
But they're still dicks in general. There's my existing and moving up and down like that. You know, a lot of platforming in this level is actually really hard as a hypersonic just because you accelerate so very quickly. And you accelerate, you move as quickly as supersonic does. The only benefits the hypersonic has, I think, aside from looking badass, is that he. Oh, I think it's that he just doesn't drown, which doesn't matter at this point in the game. And that he. What else? Can uh, use that kind of double jump move. Okay, so I was talking earlier about how there are giant rings in this level, which are pretty hard to find. So, let's go. For example, you can see in the floor here that there's a little tube going downwards. If you push this thing to the side, ta da. Do I not get another life for getting 100 rings again? I thought I would. Maybe it's only when you break 100 the first time. I have a lot of rings. Let's keep those rings, actually, and not get hurt. Never stand on, under those hemispheres. Ever. They will crush you. You won't be happy. Actually. And yet another. Although Hypersonic likes to have issues with dropping down here. There you go. Whoa! Hey! That was interesting. Charging, charging, charging a spin dash in air, and I wasn't pressing anything, but I still ended up being weird when I hit the ground. These things don't actually touch the top, uh, or touch the ceiling, so you can be without worry when you're uh, standing on top of them, just don't stay below them. He can handle hypersonic. His platforming ability is wonderful. Because of how he can, uh... Yay! His platforming ability is wonderful because of how... He can effectively fly... ...through... Yeah. Let me touch the gold! Through that double jump, uh... ...maneuver, as well as just moving really quickly through use of said double jump maneuver. And this thing's just absolutely pathetic. This is the most boring boss throughout the entirety of Sonic and Knuckles, I think. Well, the one that requires the least effort. See, even if you're not super here, if you're super or hyper, you just stand here. But if you're not super or hyper, all you have to do is stand on top of the button and wait for it to try to thwack you, and then you dodge its attack, and it just hurts itself. It's really dumb. I like how the, my score flashes when it's right about to attack. And, bonk. Just goes straight through the machine, somehow. Whatever. I have a lot of ring bonus, I like that. So many lives. Right. Fun words. Again. This is actually pretty much the point at which I stopped practicing but beforehand. Whoops. That, as Tails just demonstrated, that uh, little thing right there will actually bring you all the way down to uh, spikes. Because this is the part where it's actually it was really easy to crush the last part too, but so if you mind, you can still get crushed a lot here. Now you have these. I don't call them platforms, but basically screw things that are moving up and down. And, um, it's easy to get crushed by them if you're careless. It's not easy to get crushed by them if you don't want to get crushed by them, but if you're just being dumb, it's easy to be crushed by them, basically. By the way, don't try to jump on top of these big, uh, rotating things. You won't be happy with what happens if you try to jump on top of them, that's all I'm going to say. Yes, yeah, this is the pitch point at which I had stopped practicing. So, remember the point at which I stopped. This point, exact point actually. Spin dash through here, don't try to run. Uh, this exact point is where I uh, stopped. 
cursing, basically, for uh, the rest of this level. And for the rest of uh, Long Wind Great Point tonight. Come on. I actually don't know where any of uh, the giant rings are in Act 2 of Flying Battery, assuming there are any. I should probably go up the only way, actually. Now, if uh, one of those things that's supposed to be affected by uh, the magnet having to be too uh, far off screen, uh, they might actually not be up against the magnet. Wow, uh. Oh, you suck. Actually, might not be up against the magnet when you. I love it. I love it. Such great flow! Uh, when you uh, first encounter them, which can lead to some unfortunate encounters. Because uh, they're on the ground when everything else isn't. Unfortunately, Hypersonic is still not resistant to being crushed. So you still do have that to worry about. Just saying screw everything when playing as Hypersonic is really fun now. So I do quite enjoy having an available to be used. Ah, this isn't one of those things I was talking about uh, last episode about uh, sprites being used for just a single occasion. You never see the sprite right there that was used, or that was just used. You never see it uh, again, throughout the entirety of the game. It was made just for that right there. Not that it took a lot of effort, I'm sure, but still, it's really nice to see things like that. Gambling? You can probably do it without the gambling. Oh well, thanks for giving me a continue or something for collecting like two rings. Whatever. Rings are rings. I'll just go with these rings that aren't going to be risking my ability to turn super, or hyper in this case. Yeah, I'm still used to saying super. Not sure how far I am in this uh, act, actually. I don't remember the general length of. No, well, I was trying to use this show, but that works just as well. I don't remember the general length of this act, so. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hypersonic jumps really high. What? Mm. That's what I was talking about with being crushed. Darn it! Can you give me some rings? Honestly. Oh, some rings right up here. Damn it! Oh, just in time for a boss, too. Screw you, game. Not that it matters, this is painfully easy, but. So it turns out it was pretty close to that. Good stuff. This is a dumb boss. Both the flying battery zone bosses are pretty darn dumb. Oh, good job avoiding rat tails. Really, all I have to do is not die, which is usually what bosses are, but it doesn't require any actual effort on your part to harm anybody. Is for some reason Robotnik decided that it was a grand idea to be firing a giant friggin' laser inside of his giant airship. That's not gonna damage anything important, right? At the very least, why couldn't just put you in a really close space so you can't actually dodge the laser that stops right before trying to kill you? Anyways. So yeah, now crap's falling apart. What a big surprise. Uh, so let's act like Sonic and call ass. Then you have to wait. And not get crushed by spikes. Well, it looks like we're going to be fighting 
this boss in general. Like, oh well. So no, that's not actually the end of fighting for Flying Battery Zone. We still have something left to be doing, which is nice. God damn it! I hate it when things fall. So Robotic has a flamethrower for some reason. And then he just decides to fling himself around. I don't know why, because he's completely vulnerable the whole time. I don't think the flamethrower would do a fine job, but apparently not. What? You can still get hit by that? I'd recall not being able to, but whatever. Ah, uh, see you, Eggman. Eggman? God damn it, Robotnik. Mm. I'll see you guys in the next episode in my least favorite Sonic and Knuckles stage. Mm. Bye, guys.